Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and the new edition of our virtual interview online series. And today we want to talk for the first time with Denario Silva and the executive chairman and interim CEO, Iacono, uh, Serafino Iacono, is here with us. Hey, welcome and good day. How are you? Well, very well. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, great. Show. Thanks for taking the time here. And uh, yeah, we want to talk now about Denario Silver. The company is working in Spain and Colombia, which is really interesting uh, for me. So maybe you can give us a, yeah, a little bit of a short overview on it, and then we dive into your various projects. Yes, uh, uh, thank you. Um, Denario Silver is a company that we formed a year ago. Uh, it came out of a spin-off of some assets that were owned by Grand Colombia, in particular two mines in, uh, in Colombia. Uh, one of them, the Sancudo mine, a very old mine that in the past had, uh, produced uh, 6 million ounces of gold. It's a very well-known historical mine, lots of upside, um, still very young mine geologically uh, with... Uh, What's interesting about the mine is the huge potential for silver, not only gold, it, it's got over seven grams of gold per ton, but it's got 350 grams average silver per ton. So very rich in silver. The second mine is uh, at the Guia Antigua, also in our property where we produce 220,000 ounces. It's a, it's a mine uh, in an area that produces more silver than gold. It historically mm -hmm. produced uh, um, a lot of material. Um, in the last few years, uh, we stopped the operation because uh, it, it was too rich in silver. So we decided to make it a standalone. Again, one of these projects that's got uh, uh, seven, 10 grams of gold, but up to a, 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 you know, a couple of kilos of silver per ton. So very, very rich. Okay, the, and this, uh, is, this is the one which is next to Grand Columbia, right? We're next to Grand Columbia Gold, which is our producer of gold, our lar the, the largest producer of gold right now in Colombia. Mm -hmm. A question, uh, why, why, why is uh, Grand Columbia not pursuing this project and Denarius is doing it? Because it sounds to me a little bit like that you want to go in production, but more with the focus on silver, right? Well, the, 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 the thing is that this is, uh, we have 24, 24 mines. This will be a 25th of those 24 mines. Mm -hmm. So okay. we, we work only out of three mines. Yeah. It, is, it is not one of our priorities right now because the richness in silver makes it very difficult to process it in the plan that we have. We wouldn't recover a lot of the silver. Mm -hmm. So it would be a project that would have to be a standalone more silver oriented than gold oriented. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. okay, super. Well, makes absolutely so, sense to me. Um, so what, what, what is the plan for that particular project then? I mean, you still do some exploration, of course, but uh, let, let's put it that way. Um, if you want to go in production, what would be the next steps? No, right now, this is a, a very young, um, a young area. It's a big area, about a thousand hectares. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so what we're going to be doing is right now we have program to do a drilling program in the mine. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be drilling. We started a drilling campaign of 10,000 meters that started this month. So the next, the first stage is going to be just developing the area, finding new resources and, uh, and, and build it up. It's, it's about a year to two years away from having anything substantial as far as, uh, upgraded resources. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. the, exciting, the exciting project that we have is our project in Spain, which is our third acquisition that we did. It's called Lomero. The Lomero project is a project that has been around since the 1930s. It was a mine that, uh, that used to produce uh, a pyrite to make sulfuric acid. Mm -hmm. In the time that they mined this mine, also they discovered a new area that was a polymetallic, very rich polymetallic area. This area, the Lomero mine sits right next to the Matza mine, mm -hmm. which is right now the largest producer of uh, copper in Spain, uh, in, the, in the Sevilla area, uh, in Andalusia. 
it's a, an incredible mine. I mean, just to give you an idea, the Matsa mine processes 5, 5 million tons uh, a year of, uh, of material and uh, uh, produces 200 plus thousand tons of concentrate of uh, zinc, uh, lead, and copper concentrate. What's exciting about this deposit? This deposit is being drilled extensively over the years. Uh, it's got uh, the same characteristic as the Matza and the surrounding other mines, the Atalaya mines and other mines in the area. With one particular difference, we have outlined uh, resources in the deposit of 21 million tons. Now, 21 million tons of material with an average of 4.9% of copper equivalent. What makes it a copper equivalent? Uh, um, you can look at it as copper equivalent, which gives you a very rich deposit in copper, if you wanted to treat it as that. The reality that it's a polymetallic with 3.8 grams of gold per ton, two ounces of silver, uh, almost 1% copper, 3.5% uh, zinc, and 1.5% uh, uh, lead. So fantastic polymetallic with infrastructure, with a mine right next to it that processes material. So potentially, um, we can look at this either or building it as a standalone mine or to use it and do a throughput milling with the matzah people to process the material. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be a decision that's going to be taken the next 18 months. Right now, the project is so exciting. The 20, the, 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 you know, the 21 million tons are in an open pit um, uh, 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 type of mining. Uh, it goes underground, it's open at depth. It's only in the first 250 meters that you have this kind of deposit. It's open, uh, it's open uh, you know, uh, to, to the east and to the north. Mm -hmm. So it's got expansion zone. It's a very large area. And uh, like we said, it's a, to me, it's one of the most exciting projects that, uh, that we see right now being built in, uh, in, in Europe for mm -hmm. very simple reason. Most of uh, everybody's looking now for this uh, green metals. This is the perfect green metal material with one kicker, which has got gold and silver in very large quantity associated with it. Uh, what's exciting about this project that all the metals that we're going to be producing out of Spain and Spain has become a fantastic jurisdiction to do business in mining these days is uh, makes it that the European community wants priority of mining and materials that are going to be used for batteries uh, and for cars, mm -hmm. electric cars in the future, that they will be from material that can come from mines that are in Europe and that are, are conflict-free mines, like copper comes from the Congo yeah. um, or comes from other places that uh, might have uh, uh, not all of them uh, you know, co conflicts. Spain, mm -hmm. yeah, which, Spain, which are a little bit Victoria. complicated, exactly. <laughs> Spain is a uh, European Union and a lovely place to be, not only for vacation, and a lovely, of course. absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, we see it also. You, uh, there are a lot of uh, mining companies surrounding you already. So uh, what is the status today, let's say, concerning uh, permitting for a future mine in Spain? And also one other question in addition, um, I see that you have an inferred resource of those 21 million tons. So what would be like the next steps? Uh, I saw in your presentation that you have designed a big uh, drill program. So maybe you can comment on that also, please. Sure, no problem. Uh, uh as far as permits, Spain, you know, obviously it's a very conscious uh, place on environment. Um, we have uh, we have right now permits for uh, doing our drilling program that we have to uh, accomplish in the next 18 months. That's what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. We're planning to do 60,000 meters of drilling into the area to upgrade, to do two things. Uh, 20,000 meters, it's going to be confirmation drilling um, on the property uh, because most of the drilling was done in the past by other company. Uh, part of our work is to make uh, the drilling 
to make confirmation of those drill holes that were done in 2013, 2017, mm -hmm. so that we are clear that we have the right information. So that's the first 20,000 meters. That's going to be done between now and uh, December of this year. Mm -hmm. um, then it continues with drilling into, uh, for the next uh, 2022, 12 months of drilling. We have program uh, that includes drilling, 40,000 meters of drilling, metallurgical testing, and uh, a, a scoping study that will give us the right way for us to take the project to pre-feasibility as fast as possible. On pre-feasibilities, we have two choices. If the Matza mine has space, which is only six kilometers away from us, oh. we have, uh, with all the infrastructure in place, mm -hmm. and this is a producing mine, if we have the mine, uh, we have ca capacity that we can work out a deal, the logical thing would be for us to start mining operation within the next 24 to 36 months, depending on permitting uh, for environmental and all the things that you have to do for taking it to feasibility, and then put it into operation either through the matzo mine by doing a, a, a milling, a, a, you know, a custom milling for us out of like, their like, plant. Like a toll milling. A toll milling, yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. If that wouldn't be possible for whatever reason, because I mean, this is a big operation. Um, uh, the other option then would be for us to build a facility in the 30, 36 months uh, frame that, we, that we've given ourselves and uh, build a facility that will process probably uh, a million, a million two uh, uh, tons a year. Mm -hmm. um, would be a plan that will process uh, 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 you know, 8,000 tons a day, somewhere around mm -hmm. there, and then uh, develop and do a concentrate and uh, we would do our own marketing and distribution. Mm -hmm. Right now, there is a, a logic for a project that sits six kilometers away. It literally is in the mine where they're producing. It's the largest producer of concentrate, copper concentrate in Spain. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. I mean, that sounds really compelling, like a great compelling story to me, because you have all the advantages in your hand. I really like that, to be honest. And I really look forward to those uh, drill results that hopefully <laughs> that they will well, be, be fantastic. <laughs> you know, the, the, the wonderful thing about the drilling, this area, that there is no surprises. Okay. I mean, there, is, there is over 70,000 meters of drilling being yeah. done yeah. on the stem. Yeah. What we're doing yeah. is we are now doing more drilling for tightening up the reserves and the way we're going to mine it. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. So it's a, it's a much more uh, detailed step forward, I would call it. Super. Um, I mean, this uh, be, before we talk about the Zenkundo project also, um, this all costs a lot of money. So what does the company look like? What is cash in the bank? Who are your largest shareholders? Who are major shareholders? Uh, please give us uh, an, an insight into that, please. Sure. Uh, well, uh, as far as money, the company is well financed for being what we consider a junior company. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we raised uh, in the last six months, we raised uh, uh, close to uh, $40 million. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Grand Columbia uh, is the largest shareholder, King Street uh, mm -hmm. Financing uh, Financials, uh, which is a big fund in New York, is the second largest shareholder. And then uh, um, institutional investors are in, in there. Grand Columbia owns 26% of the company. The company right now has zero debt. Uh, all the acquisitions of the property has been done. Sits on $26 million in cash in the bank. And it's got, uh, and it's got shareholders like Grand Columbia that uh, can write a check anytime that the company needs to, uh, mm -hmm. to develop the project. That's uh, it's, what is it's, management it's a, share? Uh, management, uh, um, I think 3%, 4% mm -hmm. is management to own. And we put in, uh, I, myself, I invested uh, a couple of million dollars in the project. Uh, uh, so uh, we're, very, we're very much aligned into the project. Mm -hmm. What's great about the stock is that it's, it's an unknown entity because it's brand new company. Um, but when you look at it, 
compared to our peers that are doing work in, in the area. And there is a lot of people that are now working in the Andalusia area. You see it on our presentation. There is over a dozen companies mm -hmm. that are actually mining. And then there is two dozen more that are now taking grounds because it's become a very, a very impressive ground to own. Uh, what's, what's incredible is that this is a stock that is trading at 45 cents mm -hmm. when our peers that don't even have what we have uh, in historical resources um, are trading at three, four times our, our market cap. Uh, we're not too concerned about that. The company is starting to come into life. Um, we think that we can develop this project very fast. Mm -hmm. um, we can develop the project very fast, mm -hmm. and we can make it. Uh, we can make it uh, uh, into a producing mine quicker than a lot of other people. We're not looking at it uh, this as an exploration company. We're looking at it as a brownfield that's going to be taken to the next stage of a pre-feasibility within the next uh, 18 months and then make a decision of uh, taking it into production, which is what Gran Colombia, which is the largest shareholder and where I am the executive chairman of the company. This is what we do. We take projects that are brownfields and we develop. We're doing it in Guyana. We did it in Colombia. And now the next place that we're going to do it is Spain. Super. Wow. That's, that's, that's a great statement. I like that because you have a very clear plan and a clear focus on what you are doing. And uh, this is something what I personally really like uh, with uh, investing. Uh, let's have one word uh, again on the Zancudo project, um, which is also Colombia, because um, one thing catched uh, my eye and interest. Uh, you are very close to gold mining Stitiribi project. Yes, we are. Uh, it is uh, uh, the the TTB the, the TTB area is one of the oldest. It was actually the first area in the time of the Spaniards that uh, when they were there uh, to mine in that area. It was the first one. The second one was uh, uh, Segovia. The third one was Marmato, and we have all three of those districts. Mm -hmm. um, interesting history on the Zancudo project. The Zancudo project uh, was the mine that paid for the independence of Colombia from, the, from Spain. Wow. It was a publicly listed company listed on the London Stock Exchange. And if you go into the internet and you put Zancudo mine in the 1800s, it used to have its own currency and its own bank. So he used to own his own bank and used to print paper currency backed by physical gold. That's how it should so, be. <laughs> that the way it should be. The way we all like it for yeah. our money to be. What's interesting is it's a mine that produced over 6 million ounces from the 1800s. Mm -hmm. It still has only seven levels. And it's a, it's a very shallow area. And it's surrounded by one of the most incredible projects that I think it's going to be developed in the next few years mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, which is a copper giant copper porphyry. So this is a center of an area that's got gold and lots of silver. So it was an intrusive surrounded by a porphyry copper gold porphyry deposit. Mm -hmm. So the areas surrounding are taken by major companies that they have, um, that they have a project that they're developing to put an outline of a copper gold porphyry. We have an, a joint venture on this project with I am Gold. I am Gold owns uh, will earn seventy percent once the project is fully um, uh, to feasibility. Mm -hmm. uh, we will own thirty percent, but uh, still they spending all the money to take it. I believe that this thing is going to be a mine again. It was an operating mine and, uh, when I bought it uh, in uh, 2007 and 2008. We closed the mine because what we wanted to do is we wanted to do exploration and concentrate on the exploration and not small scale mining. Okay. 
Super great. So I am going to doing now the exploration for this year. I got that correct. I think they correct. Uh, what is that? Six million dollars is here in your presentation. They carry further six million dollars exploration, and yeah, this is a great thing uh, towards project option of feasibility. Yes. Yeah. Super. So it's a it's going to be a fantastic project. Yeah. The, this this uh, the 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 the, uh, the other project that is really exciting, uh, and it's going to be a big silver gold mine is the Guia Antigua. Guia Antigua, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be someday a standalone mine also. Mm -hmm. So we okay. have, we have a company that right now trades like a junior exploration company, and it's got three potential projects that will be developed in the next 36 months. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That's a great final statement. I like that. And I have a very good feeling that we talk much more often here in the future uh, when you have your drill results received. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Serafino, for that great insight, first insight into your terrific company. And uh, yeah, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Serafino Iacono, the executive chairman and interim CEO of Denario Silver. And you heard it, lots of money in the bank, approximately, oh, yeah, over well over $22 million. And uh, also great shareholders, Grand Columbia owns uh, 26, 27% of the company here. And also King Street Capital with 19%. Management has 3 to 4%. So also skim in the game. And Serafino personally invested a lot of money with his own money that is also important so um, they are fully aligned with shareholders but what I like is really the optionality of three fantastic projects and also we are in Spain and Colombia those are all yeah both mining uh, old mining countries and uh, yeah I would, such, I would say that uh, within the next 18, probably to 24 months is a really a lot is going on. The drills are turning and we keep you posted on all those results. So thanks for joining us today here and bye-bye from Switzerland.